while at Apache, you were able to successfully build an open software developer community. What are some similarities and differences between Hyperledger and Apache in its evolution as an open source project? Right. Well, on the Apache web server project, which later became the Apache Software Foundation, um, a lot of uh, what happened was due to luck, was due to um, inheriting uh, a tradition that had been established since the beginning of the internet of technologists working together on common standards and common code. And, uh, and so there was kind of a, a DNA that was built in. Uh, and you know, the web was not that complicated at that point in time either. The standards were pretty simple, right? So we just kind of did what seemed natural. We started a mailing list. We started a, a issue control, a, a, a issue tracking system, a version control system. Uh, and uh, we just started working together very ad hoc, very informally. Um, and we became a nonprofit about three years after we got started when we realized we wanted a little more formalism and a little more protection for the developers. Uh, and, but it was all very informal, ad hoc, and many developers took on roles uh, beyond development, such as marketing, such as legal, such as accounting, right? Um, and so Apache's culture has been very much almost like a, a, a guild, right? Almost like a, a, a user community, a, a very community-driven kind of thing where there's this um, uh, validity that comes from that grassroots kind of sense, right? Which is great for the kinds of projects that Apache was interested in. And Apache's become a home for over 300 different individual software development projects beyond the web server, right? Um, but it always has grown by happenstance, and it's always been open to whatever technology project wanted to come in. Um, so there are some upsides and downsides to that, right? Um, one of the downsides is by not having a full-time staff, uh, it's hard for Apache to, to take, really take advantage of all the opportunities out there, to get the word out about who they are. Um, it means that developers you know, have to do these non-developer activities, right? Um, and it's hard to do things like police your trademark usage, right, um, when people are working as volunteers. So the Linux Foundation took a slightly different approach. The Linux Foundation said, we don't, you know, just like with Apache, we don't want to write software. We don't want to have to pay all the software developers because there's actually a lot to the validity that comes from all of the software development happening by volunteers. But there's a lot of non-software development things, marketing, legal, PR, um, and even the hosting of meetings, the hosting of phone calls, all of the logistics of helping these communities operate that perhaps can be taken on, right, by a full-time staff. Now, how do you pay that staff, right? You could ask for, you know, charity contributions, right? Um, but <clears throat> a better, more scalable approach is to ask companies to join as corporate members of an organization, right? And they don't get any special privileges on the code, right? Well, they don't get their patches in by default. They don't get to veto anyone else's work. If you're a developer from IBM, there's no special status. You have to still prove your worth, and, uh, which you would, you know, and, and be seen as a peer to, say, a 15-year-old kid in Romania who also is really eager to work on <coughs> distributed ledgers and smart contract systems. Um, and, and so, uh, but what uh, members do get is some help in marketing their activities, uh, building on top of hyperledger projects, uh, um, uh, uh, ways to participate at the events that we do. When a journalist calls us and asks us for a story about somebody doing something interesting with Hyperledger, we've got uh, a set of uh, members that we, whose stories we can draw from, right? So, so this balancing act of, you know, as I mentioned, there's a, a developer community and there's a um, commercial community, a, co a corporate community. Um, that's the balancing act that the Linux Foundation has really developed a process for, a template for, uh, and a real science around. And that's what we're bringing to bear on the Hyperledger project.